Guys, uh, this, is a, this is someone's first time here at the show. We have a tradition here at the Asia Unnamed Comedy Show for first timers. We like to get our booze out of the way. That way they can have a good old time and we can cheer them when they're done. So go ahead and give a nice round hearty, a nice hearty round of booze from Mr. Sky Thomas. All right, sweet. I was actually really worried that nobody was gonna boo, so my first joke was gonna be about the fact that I work in a telemarketing place just to get your prejudice really going. Unfortunately, my second joke was a porn joke, so that one's out. And uh, my third joke, actually, that one kind of fucked up a little bit too, because I was waiting to see what Justin was gonna play for me. Like, he, everybody else gets a theme song when they come up here. I'm like, all right, sweet. Like, do I get a theme song? No. God damn. No, that's not happening. Thanks for trying. I appreciate it. But uh, yeah, so my name is Sky Thomas. This is my first time up here, and uh, I really like my name. I'll be honest with you guys. I'm I'm kind of proud of it. I have no control over it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Wow, got quiet. Shit. <laughs> but uh, my whole name is actually Skylar Vaughn Thomas. And I really like it, but the problem with that is like I feel certain pressure because of my name. Like, I feel like a name like that, I've got to do something cool with my life. Like, I can't just sit around reading comic books forever. Like, at some point I've got to do something cool. Like, it can't be Skylar Thomas, accountant. No. No, I've got to be like an astronaut or something. That's just a lot of pressure for me. But, uh, second of all, I'm, I'm an MU student, and of course, you know, speaking of pressure, I'm an English major. I chose that one first. So, I don't know if any of you have done that, Josh has, uh, but, uh, do you guys ever imagine what, like, the less cool majors, what that's like telling your parents? Because I can tell you, it sucked for me. Like, I, I came home, I'm like, Hey mom, what's up? She's like, all right, cool. Welcome back, five minutes in. What'd you decide to major in in college? And I was just like, all right mom, doing English. Real, real good career path here. Creative writing. She's like, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, she was supportive. It was wonderful. And then she's like, okay, but just in case, you know, being a writer doesn't work out, I, I want you to have, you know, a backup plan. I said, don't worry mom, I got it. I'm also going to be a theater major. I can tell you she was so enthused that my second choice of career path was critically successful in most cases. Yeah, thanks for laughing at a theater kid. Way to go. Oh, that reminds me. Okay, so uh, I've, I've recently lost weight. Like, I'm kind of proud of it. I've lost like 40 pounds. Cool. Self-esteem boost right there. But, like, the reason I did it is because, you know, I got tired of people making fun of me. Like, I'd be walking down the street to be like, hey, fatty, put down the fries. And it was just, it was fiscally irresponsible of me to be that size. Because I'd get so upset that I'd throw my bucket of chicken at them. And then just, like, half my lunch is gone. So, it was effective as a diet plan, but it just hurt my feelings a lot. And of course, like, you guys probably can't tell, because of my glasses. But I actually work out sometimes. Ha! And so uh, it's, it's really funny now because, you know, I used to get made fun of for being big and, you know, that's, that's got its own set of problems. Like you go to a movie theater and you're like, it's, it's that old debate, you know, who gets the armrests? Because when you're a small person, like I remember this when I was little, I'd try and I've got five siblings. So I'd look to one side, look down, armrest is taken. Oh shit. The other side. Moment, moment right there. Ah, goddamn. I hate my older siblings. But then I got bigger. And now I just go in, I sit down, I'm like, what up, bitches? <laughs> I got these two and a half hours, sit tight. And of course now at work, you know, I get, uh, I get some crap for steroids. Like, I've never taken steroids, but of course it occurs to me that if you think someone's on steroids, you, you probably shouldn't be making fun of them. That, that seems like the person you definitely do not want to be making fun of. Because I could get angry. And you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. 
Yeah, I planned that one. I actually wrote some of this shit out. Now, I, I have a Facebook. I kind of hate it. And, and I'll, I'll explain that. Like, I, I realize because I'm standing up here talking to people in a large group, it seems like I'm much more confident than I am. That is a lie. Like, that's the theater major kicking in right there. But I'm really bad at talking to people, and worse, at remembering people that I've talked to or that I've met. And Facebook doesn't help that. Because what happens is I'll become friends with someone on Facebook, and I'll look at the profile, I'll be like, oh cool, they went to this high school, they're, they're into this book, oh, I like that book too, cool. And then I forget having met them. And then when I meet them in real life, these are the things I remember. So they come up, Sky, what's up? I'm like, oh, hey, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I don't quite remember meeting you. And they're like, uh, they're like, uh, okay, well, this, my name's Joe. And I'm like, oh, cool, what's up? Oh, yeah, you like uh, mysteries and Sherlock Holmes, right? And your dog died on April 3rd. And they're like, what? And that's, of course, the thing I remember about them. And guys, it only gets worse when you talk to women and you remember this shit. Because then you're the creepy guy who remembers everything about them but doesn't remember meeting them. Or because then it looks like you're pretending to have remembered meeting them or forgotten meeting them, but you really have studied the shit out of them. And while that's true for like three girls, the rest of them I try to avoid. But that's my time. Thank you guys very much.